All right, peace. It's Bronzeburg here with another video. Before I begin, like and subscribe. Thank you. So, uh, in recent events, we've been going over a lot of topics I've been seeing around on YouTube, the world at large, the media, in which there's a lot of investigations to why a lot of these athletes is passing out, going into cardiac arrest, even to the extreme dying while on the field uh, before a game starts or, you know, the first half of a game. You know, um, there's a lot of investigations that's going into this, and I understand that the CDC and the rest of them is going to try to cover up their tracks by saying it's not the cause of you know what, and they'll try to say that, you know, that's not a reason for y'all to sit up there saying it's not a good idea to get the jabby jab, but, you know, we pay attention to these stories and bring it out because there's something that doesn't add up, especially when it comes to using your body a lot. There has been a lot of different things that's happened to these athletes, and again, to the extreme, them dying on the field. Um, I didn't get the chance to review this story. Uh, this athlete by the name of Damar Hamlin was actually found going into cardiac arrest January 2nd at a Buffalo Bills football game and was automatically into intensive care right after the incident. And so it reminded me of a lot of past trauma events where I actually seen on videos, a lot of these athletes passing out, a lot of these people suffering from cardiac arrest, having seizures on the field, uh, such as so I see a lot of football players in Europe that actually suffered from this condition. There was a professional swimmer that passed out in the middle of a, a professional swimming game pretty much uh, and passed and you know likely she could have drowned if it was nobody there to automatically save her so you know it's a lot of things I went into this but um just to review the story I just wanted to you know give into you know my thought process into this so Pete so it says here shout outs to Rolling Stone shout outs to Daniel Kreps NFL player Damar Hamlin released from hospital one week after scary on Phil collapse. I'm thinking for every single person that prayed for me and reached out. Buffalo Bills safety says days after suffering cardiac arrest during game. Damar Hamlin is going home. The Buffalo Bills safety was released from the hospital on Monday, one week after he suffered cardiac arrest following an on-field collision during his team's since-canceled game versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Hamlin, who spent time in the intensive care unit, has also begun walking again, his physicians said. He will now be transferred to a Buffalo hospital. His release comes just days after he made his first public statement since the accident. When you put real love out into the world, it comes back to you three times as much. He posted on Saturday via Instagram. The love has been overwhelming, but I'm thankful for every single person that prayed for me and reached out. We brung the world back together behind us. If you know me, you know this only going to make me stronger. On a long road, keep praying for me. Hashtag three strong. Since the terrifying January 2nd on-field incident, Hamlin has had been under the care of physicians at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center where his prognosis has steadily improved. On Thursday, the team announced that he had shown remarkable improvement over the past 24 hours and that he was neurologically intact. After initially communicating via a writing board, his first question was reportedly if the Bills won the game. The team announced Friday that DeMar's breathing tube was removed overnight. He continues to progress Remarkably, in his recovery, his neurologic function remains intact and he has been able to talk to his family and care team. By Friday, Hamlin was in communication with his teammates via FaceTime before he addressed the concerned public days after many witnessed him collapse on the field after colliding with Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver T. Higgins. Although Ham Hamlin bounced back on his feet after taking a few steps, he collapsed backwards onto the turf. A referee whistled for the clock to stop with five minutes, 58 seconds left in the opening quarter. Medical staff and local paramedics rushed to the emotionalist 
player and administered CPR to restore Hamlin's heartbeat before he was transferred to the hospital in an ambulance around 16 minutes later. After a long delay, the Monday night game was suspended and ultimately canceled by the NFL Thursday. Prayers for Hamlin flooded social media following his on-field collapse and donations to his holiday fundraiser, a toy drive promoted by his Chasing M's Foundation, raised over $3.4 million from over 134,000 contributors in the hours following the medical emergency. At press time, the foundation has received more than $8 million in donations since the incident. So, you know, hearing the news like that and, um, you know, giving into a lot of the stuff that's going on, in my opinion, there's a lot to be said out of this. And, you know, this is going to be a prelude into the deeper study that I'm going to show you of the correlations that's going on and more videos that I'm going to be producing and which now the CDC wants to come forward and say that they were wrong. And, you know, all of these now experimental jabs was not necessary for the general public. And so before it was the outcry, check out one of my videos where they're trying to talk about the pandemic amnesty and all these different things where they forgive those that was against the jab and stuff like that and say, you know, we should forgive them. We should be with them. We wouldn't, we shouldn't be against them. When in even the beginning of the pandemic, they blamed those that decided not to get the jab itself as the enemies of the society, the outlaws. But it shows you exactly the divide and conquer strategy the media and people at large are doing to keep people away from each other, still going along with also bringing upon, I don't even want to say just the new world order, just the way of society now, in which when you directly don't agree with something as trivial as putting something in your body, now everybody looks at you and say you're wrong, but then the proof is in the pudding, and now they have to answer all these questions on why these athletes are suffering the way that they're suffering based upon, allegedly, a lot of them getting the jab. So give me your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace. And before that, make sure you check out this next uh, article that I'll leave in the comment section. Peace.